Lisa Briggs on the Roost Company is here answering your plant and garden question. The number to call 270-9933. Hi, Lisa. Hello. How are you? Good. Hanging in there. Trying yeah. To stay, trying to stay cool. <laughs> That's <laughs> all we can do today. Let's go to the phones. We'll start with Ann from Madison. Hi, Ann. What's your question? Hi, yes. Um, I have uh, peonies in my yard, and they've been great bloomers for years. And now they're not blooming anymore, and some of the buds aren't even, uh, they're, they look burnt out. And hmm. so I'm not sure what's going on, but I talked to my neighbor, and she's having the same problem. So okay, um, I, I don't know what's going on with the peonies this year and last year. Okay, well, there are a couple of reasons why peonies don't flower uh, or bud. One of the first one is that they're, you know, that conditions in your yard have changed and there's not enough sun. Uh -huh. The other one is that they are, if you mulch your garden, you need to be really careful with peonies. They don't like the mulch right up to the plant because uh -huh. if the eyes get covered by more than a couple of inches of soil or mulch, then they stop producing flower buds. Okay. Um, as far as like sort of bleaching out, we did have some pretty cold weather a couple of times when the peonies were sort of developing, mm -hmm. so that might be part of it as well. Okay, and, I and think the so same it doesn't kind of have thing anything to do with year. their age. I thought, well, maybe they're getting too old. They've been there for years, like 20, you 30 years. You could certainly divide them. Uh, the best time to do that is sort of end of August, early September. Okay. You dig them out and then take a sharp shovel and split them okay. and then replant. All right. Okay. Thanks for the call. Let's go to Daryl in Stoughton. Hi, Daryl. What's your question? Yes, uh, Lisa, I've got a baby my cucumber and tomato plants, and a couple of weeks ago when it got cold, I covered them so it wouldn't frost, but I think some acid rain or something has got on them leaves of, of some of my tomatoes and cucumbers, and I'm wondering if I should cut the leaves off of the cucumber plants. That is frost damage. The same thing happened to my tomatoes. I covered them too, but it just got too cold. If they're starting to, I would leave the leaves on until they start to produce new leaves. And the new foliage should not be affected. And once you start to get um, some growth on there, then you could go ahead and take off those um, those frost damage leaves. But you don't have to. They're, you yeah. know, it's, it's not fungal, so nothing's going nothing's gonna to happen to them. Okay. Okay. I appreciate that. Right. Good luck. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Gene now in Madison. Hi, Gene. What's your question? Um, yeah. Hi, Lisa. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got an orchid plant for Mother's Day, and um, gee, about two days after I got it, uh, on the one there's two stalks, and on the one stalk, all the petals fell off. I have no no petal flowers on that one stalk at all. Are they going to come back? Well. The way orchids, it sounds like you have a moth orchid, and um, when when those when those flower buds are produced, um, they last a long time, but not forever. So they will not; those flowers will not rebloom. But what you can do is, when that whole spray of flowers is finished up blooming, then you can just trace the stem back down to like one of those. There's like a like a node, like a bump on the flowering stem and if you cut just above that sometimes you will get a second uh, flower stem that will come out of that place just make sure it gets a good soak once a week that you get the whatever the medium is that it's growing in um nice and soaked but you don't need to do that more than once a week and they don't like to sit in water so make sure that if you have them in a decorative pot or if they're in some kind of um, foil wrapping that you make sure that they have good drainage and they're not sitting in water Okay, let's go to Marianne from Lone Rock. Hi, Marianne. Hi. Hi, what's your question? What's your question? Oh, um, I planted um, catalpas from the seed, you know, from the pod. Mm hmm And I got them, um, I got one in a big, big pot, and the others I scattered around the yard. Okay. I thought... And um, are they are they very rare here? Um, catalpas are depending on what species you have. There's a southern and a northern one, and the northern one, we just don't see them in people's yards anymore because they get quite large, and they're messy. They have those big flowers that fall off, and then those great big pods. So you know, I can only think of a few places in my neighborhood or in on the west side of Madison 
where they actually have them, but they're not necessarily a rare plant. We just don't see them in the garden centers very much anymore because they're not very popular, but they are quite beautiful. Yeah. So I would just grow your seeds and see what happens. All right. We are out of time. Thank you all for calling in. Lisa, thank you for your time. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>